So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is create a random block uh, assessment, and it's fairly easy to do within Blackboard, the Blackboard 9 environment. So let me briefly explain what a random block assessment is. Say we have 10 test banks, or testing pools rather, and each of those testing pools have 100 or 200 questions. And we want to create assessment that draws on all of those pools, say for chapter 1, chapter 2, or chapter 3, but we only want that assessment to have about 50 questions in it, much like the one that you're looking at now. So you can see I have 50 questions here. So I want to randomly draw from those three uh, testing pools that have about 100 or maybe 200 questions each, uh, so 600 questions altogether, but I only want 50 of those questions. What Blackboard allows you to do is say, these are the questions that I want to draw from, these are the criteria that I want to uh, mandate, the types of questions that I want to be brought into this assessment, and I only want 50 of them, and this is how many points that I want them to be. Blackboard can do that for you. So just to begin, I want to place my assessments in one place. I want to keep them all together so students know where to go. So I'm going to click the um, plus signal sign up here, um, and I'm going to add a content area. And I'm going to add this to my left-hand navigation. And I might call this assessment 2013. OK, simple enough. And I will make that available to users and click Submit. So now we know where that assessment's going to go, and I want that to be um, just before the, uh, the syllabus, so I can place it anywhere I'd like. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go into Test Surveys and Pools, and first, just so you know where these assessments are, I'm gonna go into Pools, and for this particular course pack, um, for the real world textbook, you can see that we've gone ahead and we've already add, added the test banks. And I can see that there's a number of questions that are in those, those test banks. So in chapter one, for example, there's 176 questions. Now I can go in and edit those questions if I like, uh, but I don't want to do that. I've already vetted the questions. You might go in there, delete questions that you think aren't useful, uh, that you want to enhance or edit yourself. And when they're ready to go, you can create your random block. So now that I've verified, okay, I do want to draw from this test bank, I'm going to go back, and I can just click the back button to get there, to test surveys and pools. This time, after I've reviewed the pool questions, I'm going to click on test. Now, what I want to do here is I want to build a test, and I'm going to call this chapter one random. Now, you can put a description in here for your students, if you'd like, you could even build a, uh, a video where you talk about what students are going to find there using this nice new webcam feature uploaded to YouTube. We'll discuss that in another tutorial. And then I will hit Submit. Now from here, I need to create my random block. And to do that, what I'm going to do is select Reuse Question. But I'm not going to click on that. I'm going to just scroll over it. And from there, I'm going to select create random block. Now from here I can find the chapter that I'm interested in, so chapter one for example. Now maybe I want to add some questions from chapter two as well. So I'm going to select those and maybe even three. Finally what I'm going to do is under question pipe uh, types I can decide which questions that I want. Now I know most of the questions in there are going to be multiple choice, so I'll select, select multiple choice. So I also want true-false questions to be added to that as well. Okay, so what have we done? We're basically telling Blackboard that from these three chapters, which we've vetted, we've gone through the pool, we've decided these are the questions that we want to, they're all good, um, and we've edited them if we felt that they weren't good or deleted them outright, there are 382 questions. And I want to randomly draw uh, from this one, two, three chapters worth of material. And now I'm ready to submit. Now, once I've done that, I just want to assign the number of points. So the number of questions, so this is the total number of questions. And I only want students to take an assessment worth 50 of those questions. And I will hit submit. Now because 
it's 50 questions. Um, I want the points to be 2. So that's going to give me a final score of 100. And once I've done all of those things, I'm ready to click OK. So now we've created a random block assessment. It's ready to deploy at this point. So what I'm going to do is go into my assessments 2013 area that we created just a moment before. And from here, I'm going to select assessments and then test from the drop down menu. And my new random block should, because I just created it, should display. I'll now hit submit. And then you can do all the wonderful things that you can do with respect to deployment within Blackboard 9. Um, I do want to make the link available, obviously. Um, do I want to add an announcement to this for this test? You can make that choice. Do you want to allow multiple attempts? Yeah, this time I want students to be able to take it at least twice. Course complete it, completion, yes, they have to do it all at once. It's only 50 questions. I can set a timer. Again, these are the sort of, of um, deployment options that are there if you're concerned about students uh, collaborating, um, working together. I can set a time period. I can even create a unique password, um, due date, etc. cetera. Uh, it's these final uh, items that I'm most interested in. So if I want students to see feedback, so I, maybe I've built that feedback um, into the um, into the assessment, the, the pool questions, um, and you can do that within Blackboard. I want that to display. And I also want them to see the correct answer as well as their, their submitted answers. Now you may decide that you don't want those, and you can just turn them on and off. Um, I do want um, to show all the students all the questions at once, and the assessment is ready for us to preview. So I'm going to leave the edit mode just for a moment so we can go through this, and I'll go back to the main content area. And I want to click on Assessments 2013, so now we're viewing this from the point of view of the student. I'll click on Chapter 1 Random, and click Begin. Now when I do that, let's notice a few things about this preview test. This is question one, um, and her ethnography, number of our days, Barbara Meyerhoff invested, in, investigated the daily lives of elderly Jewish immigrants, etc. Okay, and you can see that there are 50 questions there. I called your attention to that first question because we're going to take this assessment again. And I'll go, we'll go through this as just a, a normal student. So I will click on the real world again. I'm going to leave the assessment. Everything should now be refreshed. I'm going to log back in. I'll now click on um, Assessments 2013. Again, Chapter 1, Random. And we should, again, see 50 questions, but these are going to be different questions than the ones that we saw just a moment ago. And there are only 50 questions drawing randomly from about 382. That's what the original criteria were. So that's how you create a random block in Blackboard. Hope this was helpful.